Kia ora. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into your August 2016 Tarascope readings with me. They've taken a while to kind of get round to uploading for the August ones and I thought to myself, I wonder why, like, you know, why haven't I been able to get into them and do them? So I did a little bit of research thinking there must be some information that needs to be looked into for August and I found that there is in fact a partial eclipse in August which on a lot of the astronomical sites doesn't even really mention because they call it a nearly there eclipse. It is on the 18th of August and it won't be particularly visible from Earth because it just about eclipses the moon, but they call it a, um, it's because of the conjunction on the same day, Venus and Mercury are in conjunct, and that is about the essence of communicating love. And this nearly their penumbral lunar eclipse is called, the position that it falls in, is known as the top of the finger of God. So it's a very rare, barely there eclipse, and it links itself into a series called the Saros Cycle. The previous one was on August the 8th, 1998. So it links into very long periods of cycles, and they date themselves back to 2,222 years ago. So I thought to myself there was a lot of synchronicity and energy within the numbers of this barely there eclipse. Also that it ties in with the conjunction of Venus and Mercury which are about communicating love and the fact that this is on, this falls on the top of the finger of God energy. There could be some profound things happen in August for some people and particularly in the areas of love and awareness and opening and connection. Now remember love is self-love as well, which is also very important because until you inspire yourself with self-love, it's very difficult to love others. So anyhow, I thought that's how we would open the beginning of the tarot readings for August with that information on board. So consequently, I have decided to use the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. I will do the same format as last month, that's four cards on the top with four underneath which are the affirmation cards or the um, the cards that give... Hey there Torians, thanks for joining me. So this is your August Tarascope reading with me using these beautiful light infused John Holland cards. Let's see what's in store for you guys then for August 2016. So the four cards at the top and then the four clarifiers underneath. That seems to be as far as they want it shuffled. Third eye chakra. Choose wisely. Partnerships and alliances. Foundation and achievements. And what are the clarifiers? Conflict and defeat. Financial and material changes. Fertility. And passion ignited. So if we look there across the screen for you guys, we have two major arcanas because we consider the chakra cards major arcanas. So you have the third eye chakra and number three, which is the empress. You have quite a lot of fire energy or this um, spirit energy, which are the purple cards because we also take the third eye chakra into that. And this card here is also emanating a lot of that, even though it's a cups card. So you have three of the wands cards which is the fire or spirit. You have one of the pentacles, which is the red rimmed here, and you have one of the swords and one of the cups. So let's start at the very top left hand corner with your third eye chakra, and to energize it even a little bit more, we'll put that beautiful amethyst crystal on there. So the third eye chakra, if we're looking at um, a head, is right here, actually right where that, in between the nose and the eyebrows up here where this gold line is going across her head. It is the center where we receive our intuitive messages from. It's our spiritual connection point that um, provides us with a great source of creativity and insight and clairvoyance and clear audience. So it's our psychic connector point. And if you think of the term you know, trust your gut instinct, you get your gut instinct feelings from the knowledge of the third eye. We can 
um, spend a lot of time in meditation with this um, particular area of our body or chakra energy wheel because it, it sends out the energy energy to the other energetic centers of the body and connects us all up and gets that creative flow going. So whether or not to that part of your body at the very beginning there of August will have something that may need treatment for such as headaches or pain across that part of your head or that you are also going to be able to connect at this very deep level spiritually and really interact and get some sort of um, power insights that will enable you to um, move forward and make directions and to bring more creativity into your life. Now the clarifying card down below is conflict and defeat which is a little bit odd but what we could be saying there is that by utilizing this creative force you will be able to move through situations that could have been creating conflict and defeat. When this card turns up traditionally in the Rider Waite it is a person standing in the foreground who has been the successor of some sort of um, discourse or disharmony between a few people and it usually represents yourself as being that person. So. Sometimes it means there could be um, documents or even mediators involved in a situation where, where certain people just aren't seeing eye to eye and there becomes this um, separating of the ways and that's where we see the, it says conflict and defeat but I tend to think of it more of conquest and moving on. But what the card tells us is it's more important about how you do this than the overall outcome. There are times when it is more poignant to um, be careful of how we use words and how we disassociate ourselves with certain groups of people. So you can do it in a more positive light, which this um, positive animating energy from up here might enable you to do and be more successful in any challenges you have around you with um, situations that could crop up at that time. But overall I see that as being a positive kind of mix because of the top card. We come to the second week and we see the Seven of Cups and it says to choose wisely and underneath we have financial and material changes. So the Seven of Cups is usually more about your relationship perspective or your emotions but sometimes when we see so many options we are literally thinking oh my god you know I see that and the glitz and the glamour of that and all oh, that sounds fantastic. So you're being again advised in this reading to be very cautious on the choices you make at around this point in time because they could affect your future and they could have a positive impact or a negative. Only some of these choices are going to suit you. Now this is regardless of whether it is love or finances or career opportunities or even just um, you know day-to-day -day relationships you have with people. Look carefully, read all information handed to you, dig deeper than you would normally dig. Look really carefully at the options on hand and make sure you are searching as much as you can, especially if it is related to material perspectives which could be career opportunities or something that's happening within your business or, or the place where you work. This card can often signify a little bit of a tightening up of financial um, arena at this point in time so money can get a little bit tight so it would pay you're being kind of doubly warned there to just be cautious of your choices and the people around you in particular pick only the best and the most logical if there are any quick rich schemes going on you know this whatever they might be invest in this and you'll make all this money be very wary of those because they they're most likely not going to be suitable for you at all the other thing with this is do watch your money, um, keep some aside for bills, don't go overspending at this point, certainly don't go gambling wildly and don't go loaning money to inappropriate people. We come to the third week and we see the three and we have partnerships and alliances. So the three of wands can often be again about careers. It feels as though careers and money sector is on your mind a little bit in this reading. Um, the three is a nice one. This is the possibility of new alliances coming in. You can see that here, this um, friendship and partnership forming. Some of you literally could be contemplating this within a business sector or arena or possibly someone who offers you support or the offer of a new job coming. Um, sometimes it is even about moving away from where you have been 
in some sort of alliance or partnership and moving into a future capacity and zone which can mean you are actually even leaving the area going into state or even into another country um, it's generally considered a really positive card and I think when we see what is the clarifying card underneath is even more empowering for you this is the god of or the goddess of fertility she is your um, energetic sign as well she's connected to earth she offers up you know beauty love warmth heart connection creativity nurturing sexuality f um, definitely fertility so possibly times of um, a new baby being created so pregnancy and we definitely see this up here partnerships creating a third capacity so a third being so some of your pregnancy is definitely on the cards or adoption or a new person coming into your life either family wise or at the work area she has this beautiful glowing green orb in her heart so she's definitely giving some sort of heart compassion to this situation so it will, it will connect with you quite deeply um, it can be a time of newfound romance as well so this could even be new romance that we're talking about right from up here to through here there, there seem to be so many um, messages coming into my mind for this particular um, partnering up of cards that it seems very broad so I think for a lot of you it is literally going to some of you will go yes it was work some of you will go it was um, business some will go it was a new love interest some will go it was a new person coming into our house there are so many options but it, overall it's really nice and we come to the fourth week and this is a very empowered line as well this is the four of wands and this is would be like the ace of wands so we have this huge power effect of creativity just exploding into the last part of August as if as if you've connected from this one that started all the way over there it's kind of like it's been powerhouse energizing you for the month and you've got it and you've gone Pew! you know these two together seem very synchronistically ordained as well because we have these rings of light and energy cycling through the heart and up through the head as if you are being embellished with this amazing creative energy and passion and fire and determination and when we see this one up here this is the four of wands which is depicted in the rider weight as being an extremely happy scenario of a happy home you know emblazoned with a beautiful um, bouquet of flowers straddled across the four wands and these people are standing in front just with love and happiness and ignition of, of life and how wonderful it is and all of those thoughts and words and meanings give the energy of that card so it's about the home, about the family, about happiness, about success and prosperity and support and nurturing and love and honour it's also about new commitments so sometimes um, engagements and new relationships and of course we've talked about that through this card as well sometimes it can infer that you are shifting shifting home some of you might be leaving or moving um, to new places and I think we've seen that before in your reading just this whole thing here even you know the shifting I mentioned it can also yes mean engagements which I think I've covered off as well and as I say, your clarifying card, the look on this woman's face, she is in pure ecstasy. She is blissed out by the offerings of life and the connection that she has and the power that she has ignited at this um, at the heart of her soul, at the seat of her soul. So it's a really powerful way for you to end your reading and take that energy on as you move into September. But all this light and ignition stems from, I think, your connection to that very first card on the top left and carrying that creative energy source through and being inspired by the possibilities, the new possibilities and the love and the stability and everything that you have around you anyhow. So really nice way to finish the reading the Torians, and I hope you have enjoyed the colour and the energy of these cards because they are rather beautiful and dynamic. Let's see what the last card is for you. The power of surrender cards and something that you can give up for the month or at least focus on with a different perspective of thought. So this is for Taurus, let's see. 
what is it your message going to be? Okay. Surrender obsessive thinking. Okay, let me just wind this down for you. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring clarity or even solve the problem. Will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So I didn't necessarily pick a lot of that up in the reading, so perhaps this is just a final personal message for some of you out there. We know that obsessive thinking, it tends to be in the negative spectrum and you have a lot of opportunity for positive thinking within that reading of August. So perhaps that was just a final message for any of you out there that have any tendencies, let them go, drop them. You're stronger than that and you have this innate deep strength, you know, one of the strongest of the zodiacs. And I think of all that the obsessive thinking with you guys could be easy, most easily trampled out because of your ability to have the strength to move through any situations that are around you. So that's your final message for the month and the last card there. Just let it go and imbue yourself in all that ignited passion and um, fertility and success and uh, opportunities that are coming your way for August. So thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I'm really grateful that you do. It's wonderful to have you all on board. It's like a, an extended family and it's a privilege to be able to do the readings. So I thank you all for enjoying them as much as I enjoy making and creating them for you. So take care everyone. Have a wonderful August ahead. Wishing you all the very best of creative um, inspiration and passion. So have a wonderful August. Ka kite anoa. Much aroha. Namaste.